Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's see, I got my microphone here. It's plugged in. I'm going to clip it right here in front of me. And hopefully you can hear me. All right, yesterday I put something up on BitChute you might want to check out. I'll try to get a link to it. Uh, at least to my channel. I don't, I don't know, maybe they won't erase it, <laughs> take it down. But anyway, this is kind of a little follow-up. And I'm going to put it on here because it's biblical. Okay? It's by Mike Adams, and it's in his Health Ranger report. Dated Tuesday, November 16th, by Mike Adams. It's called Spiritual Choice. Any nation that fails to protect its children from demonic mm, toxin sacrifice will suffer the wrath of God. Yeah, we, we, we kind of already know this, but you know what? There's a lot of dumb people out there. Or uh, should I say, they're not dumb. They're asleep. They don't know God. They're, they, if they do, they don't know the times we're living in. They think it's just another one of those annual things people get. And even those we should not take anymore. I don't take any because I have what I have because of them from 1989, 89, and 1990. Three-part series of one of them. Okay, so this is all about the children. In today's Situation Update podcast below, I share passages from the Old Testament that are highly relevant today when it comes to protecting children against being sacrificed to Satan. And that's what it is. That's what it's all about. A lot of people don't want to hear that. In Leviticus, God explains through Moses that not only is child sacrifice sinful and evil, but that communities have an obligation to stop parents who are sacrificing their children to Molech. It's pronounced Molech, he puts in parentheses, but it's spelled M-O-L-O-C-H. Societies that fail to stop the practice of child sacrifice face the wrath of God. In other words, if you say, oh, none of my business what they do with their children. Really? You're a Christian? Is it not our place to get as many souls into heaven as possible? That includes children. And parents need to be told before they jump in line because the schools are mandating it now. Say, this is a quote, say to the Israelites, this is the, I'm sorry, uh, here's Leviticus 20, verses 2 through 5, emphasis added. Say to the Israelites, any Israelite or any foreigner, that means they're not even one of God's chosen. Back then, they weren't. You know, who's God's chosen now? Those who are born again. Uh, any Israelite or any foreigner residing in Israel who sacrifices any of his children to Molech is to be put to death. The members of the community are to stone him. This is why we're freed from the law, people. This was a law that God gave to Moses. We don't stone people to death. You're, yeah, we're allowed to stone your rebellious children to death, y'all. That was a law, too. All right. Okay, so the members of the community are to stone him. I myself will set my face against him and will cut him off from his people. For by sacrificing his children to Molech, he has defiled my sanctuary and profaned my holy name. If the members of the community close their eyes, now this is him, at, this has got to be him at his emphasis because it's bold. It's different. If the members of the community 
close their eyes when that man sacrifices one of his children to Molech, and if they fail to put him to death, I myself will set my face... Oh, no, this is definitely God. He just bolded it. I myself will set my face against him and his family and will cut them off from their people together with all who follow him in prostituting themselves to Molech. Okay, so I don't know what... He doesn't give what version... He's using, so I don't know what part is emphasis from him unless the emphasis is the emboldening of part of it. As you can see, God calls for harsh punishment for parents who sacrifice their own children. I can't see anybody, well, yeah, I can. They don't want to take it, but they don't want to homeschool their kids. But the school won't let the kids stay in there unless they're you-know-what. Unless they get it. As you can see, God calls for harsh punishment for parents who sacrifice their own children. In Exodus, God also shows that he is willing to unleash plagues upon entire nations that fail to follow his teachings. His plagues become increasingly severe as his warnings are ignored. In Exodus, God commanded the Pharaoh to set free the Israelites, and the Pharaoh refused until the tenth plague finally changed his mind. Notably, at least two of these judge, two, two of these plagues are biological weapons attacks, uh, livestock disease and the plague of the boils. Other plagues unleashed by God against Egypt include locusts, flies, gnats, frogs, and finally, the mass death of all the firstborn. It's firstborn. Here he's got the word sons, but I'm pretty sure it's the firstborn. Animals too. Okay, this says spike protein um, snake bites are biological weapons aimed at human children. The you know what contains instructions for the body to manufacture spike protein nanoparticles. Those toxic nanoparticles attack the body from the inside and even damage the DNA repair mechanism found in the nuclei of human cells. Accordingly, these you-know-whats are a biological weapon being used to destroy human lives. Okay, I'm going to stop reading now and let you click on the link and read the rest for yourself. Lest my video not stay up. It is something to consider, to pray about if you know families that have children in the age range that are now in schools demanding this what will you say to those parents anything you better consider it those who are his are commanded to share the gospel and do whatever they can to get other souls into heaven. And if you're fearful of being made fun of, uh, kicked out of your church, whatever, I'm trying to think here. Of, it's been a while since I've been in church. Well, you know, we have Bible studies. At one church I went to, we had all these small groups, thousands of them. Because the church was so huge. And the church was growing. And we had campuses all over Alabama. Still do. Uh, it's huge. You can go to churchofthehighlands.org. I believe it is. And check it out. But um, because of the time constraint. Because they had the early service. The 930. The 11. 
15. Well, they had to start putting more time in between for parking. They had to add a huge parking lot. It's a good thing they bought a big piece of land, many acres, to put this church on. Uh, they, they, there's no time for the Holy Spirit to work. Uh, you have to go to classes for four weeks before you can join, though. There's some very good things about Church of the Highlands. It just doesn't allow time for the Holy Spirit to work. That's saved for the small groups, people who want that Holy Spirit closeness, praise and worship, praying in tongues, and all that with others of like-minded came coming out of the same kind of denomination because this is not a denominational church it's interdenominational or you might say non-denominational the reason i'm talking about this is lots of people in those small groups okay if you go to one of those or something similar and you know uh, mary beth over here and and connie over there they have small children aged 5 to 11 and you know they're uh, really not wanting to give up their careers to homeschool, nor can they afford it, so they believe. What are you going to say to Mary Beth and Connie in your small group or your neighborhood or your book club? Maybe you're in a Christian reading book club, a Bible study. Just consider it. Pray to God and ask him what to say. Share this article with them. Okay? At the very least. All right, I'm going to end it here. I pray that the word is well received, that your friends, neighbors, coworkers, Bible study group people will accept what you have to tell them. Tell them in any way you can. Even if you have to write them a letter and mail it. Okay? But hurry up. We're running out of time. And once the Bride of Christ is out of here, there'll be three days of darkness, and then the Antichrist will rise to power, and it will be mandated. Let people know what you can tell them. If you got to do it in a letter, do it in a letter. I wish I had back when it was first coming out. I wish I'd written about 10 letters or more. With that, I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. I pray it stays up. I pray it goes out, gets shared, the information, this article, however you can do it. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us and our families that are still fully human, and over our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now. Keep looking up. That blood moon on the 18th into the 19th is looking pretty good. If not then, soon after. We keep looking up for our redemption. Draws nigh. Bye for now, brothers and sisters. I'll talk to you later.